Hi, my name is Gabe Ramirez, and today we're going to uh, go over five basic Linux, Linux commands. And <clears throat> this is a video in the video series of Introduction to Linux. And the five basic, um, I would call it fire, file structure commands. And we're going to go into this pretty quick, but I'm going to have a description on my website and under the video of all the commands we went over. So the first command is <coughs> CD. What is CD? It just stands for change directory. What does it do? What does it do? Um, it changes your directory. So say we type in CD forward slash. That takes us to the root of our file structure or file system. But what good is it? We don't know what folders are in there. Well, that's where we use the second command ls list directories so we type in ls <clears throat> now we we could see the folders are that are in this folder what do we do well say we want to navigate to and from a folder we use a cd command and the ls command to display what's in that folder so let's use them in combination now let's do cd cd and let's go into the home folder cd home ls list what's in that home folder type in cd gabe um, the forward slash at the end of the um, name uh, flags it as a folder it's basically telling linux this is a folder ls <coughs> now it's listing all the folders that are in there so that's how we could use cd well ls command um, that's its very very basic form cd doesn't have much just CD um, say for example LS LS has a few more um, options that we could throw a few more arguments so <clears throat> let's say we want to see all the hidden folders in this folder with the LS command we type in LS dash a and it displays all the hidden folders say we want to um, <clears throat> type for example LS dash LL and it will display all the permissions on those folders. <clears throat> so the ls has a few more arguments that you could throw at it. Uh, and these are basically the two that I use with it. ls-a to display all folders including hidden or ls-ll to list all the permissions on those folders. It tells you the permissions here, um, the owner, the group, um, it tells you the date it was created or modified, touched, and then the folder name. So <clears throat> let's use another um, another uh, command that I'd like to use, and it's the um, make directory. So the make directory command, what does it do? It makes a directory. So let's use a ls. See, you have all these folders here. You have how many? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight folders in there, including that desktop. And we want to make a folder called a temp. So all we do is type in mkdir um, tmp and then ls. And see, we created a folder named temp. So that's how we could use the mkdir command to make a directory it's pretty simple but <clears throat> say you you didn't like that directory you didn't um, you want to delete it well you use another simple command it's called rm remove um, temp can't remove okay this is where <clears throat> I usually throw my uh, my my arguments in this command so we type in rm dash capital R recursive and then F force. So then I go ahead and I, I nuke that folder out of there. So <clears throat> the rm dash rf is very, it's a powerful command. Be, be very careful with it. But that's how you can remove folders that you have permission to remove. So let's go to our last um, folder. Let's go ahead and make a, a um, <clears throat> another folder and call it um, move move me let's list it it's called there it is move me and if I'm going too fast for you um, don't worry about it 
The instructions are going to be on my web page. You can rewind this video or you could look at the instructions at the bottom of this video. So <clears throat> how do we move a folder or a file per se? We use the MV command to move. We select the target and move me and then we select the destination but there's this cool thing that you could do with this instead of calling it the same name you could call it by a new name renamed list and there you go it's renamed so those are the overview of the five basic commands if you want to learn more about those commands what you can do is type in the command type in double dash and help and it will actually give you the how to on how to use those commands I'm more, th more thorough I just went over the basics so like here we go dash a gave you almost all so you get the idea um, oh one more command an extra a bonus <laughs> clear it clears out everything so ls like you, you have something in pr something here in terminal you want to clear it out type in clear it clears it out um, another another thing you could do is type in man man and then type in the command you want to get the manual for and it also um, brings up the manual the complete manual so that's the basic overview on um, the basic five plus one Linux commands I will have a few more coming out um, make sure to go to my website look at the video description hit thumbs up and subscribe if you want to get more of these um, ba basic Linux um, tips and don't be shy send me an email if you have a question or a comment thank you